everybody, it's Jo here. I hope that no matter what's going on in your life, where you may be in the world, I hope that you, your family and your friends are all safe and well. And in today's video, we're going to talk about people who need motivating, people who need to, to kind of have that, that, that oomph, that kind of taking control. If you watched last week's video and if that really helped you about perfectionism, then this video isn't for you because this video is to help those people that have got so much work that they need to do that they don't quite know where to start. And just a quick one, for those people that are enjoying these videos in one way or another, then please just like and most importantly subscribe. It's just really good for schools to monitor how well this channel's doing. And plus, I love it. So, lack of motivation. I think what I mean by that is those people that have got into a habit of not being able to, to get going. And I think for those people that don't know how to get going, sometimes they just don't, won't do anything at all. Equally, it might be somebody that's a hidden perfectionist that has high standards to their work that feel as if because they can't produce or they feel as if they can't produce good enough work that they just won't bother at all. And I think that what we need to do is we just need to, to realise that for you to dig deep and stay focused and to motivate yourself is down to you. It is your responsibility. Yeah, you're going to have family members, friends that can help you, but it's down to you. It's your responsibility to just do it. And the first thing that I'd want you to consider is when you wake up and you get out of bed in the morning, what is that space? What is your bedroom environment? What is it like? Do you have a floor drobe? Are you somebody that never makes your bed? Are you somebody that has plates and cups up in your room? Because if you are, you are automatically waking up to a mess. And that's going to be possibly how you feel as if your life is already. And that's where, oh, you know, oh, I'll do that later. Oh, I'll do that later. If you keep saying, I'll do that later for the rest of your life, you won't get a chance to achieve what life's about because you'll keep putting it off. So just consider what needs to be done just immediately in that space. And always make your bed. Always make your bed. It's doable, it's achievable, and it will give you, albeit a small sense of triumph, but it will give you that feeling of, oh, I've done that. And I think that if you can focus on those feelings of, oh, I've done that, or, you know, then that is what will motivate you to do the next thing. So if you're behind with your schoolwork, instead of thinking to yourself, you know, you've got so much work to do, you know, that you don't know where to start, break it down, break it down into subjects, break it down into deadlines. Because again, it's just you needing to take control. Because even though you think you don't care, you do. You do care. Because you're possibly that type of person that will care what other people think. Yeah, and I think that it's really important that if there's work that needs to be done, as Nike would say with this, their slogan, just do it. Just do it. And I think that actually if we can mind, you know, add some mindful attention to our life, because you don't have the school bell going off, which would be your daily routine. You don't have the 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 rules at school, which would be your kind of boundaries and purpose, you know, in life. And you don't have the support from your teachers in person for that care, motivation and professional love that they automatically supply for you. So there really is this sense of possibly being on your own. But what you can do is you can ask for help. It's not a bad thing. Yeah, if you are behind on your work, instead of just keep putting it off, take control. Do a to-do list. And this to-do list isn't for you to feel overwhelmed. This to-do list is for you to actually realise what needs to be done. And I think that that to-do list is really important because, again, imagine each feeling when you get to cross something out. So adding that kind of mindful attention to your day would be as simple as you know, um, setting your alarm, you know, making sure that Monday to Friday you're up by a certain time, say nine o'clock. 
I let you do snooze twice. It's being aware of staying active, yeah? It's the need for you to possibly go outside and get some fresh air. I've had parents that have got in touch saying, Joe, I don't know how to get my, my teenager out of their room. You know, it's so important that you get out there and get fresh air. It really is. And even if it's just going for a walk, you know, even if it's just going up and down the stairs, it's just getting out. Yeah, it's just getting the heart moving and ticking. And just be, and I'm going to sound like a mum, I'm sorry, but just be aware of maybe what you eat with like those energy drinks or chocolate. Um, I'm no nutritionist, but certainly your energy levels are just going to go up and down. And I think that actually you need to just really look after yourselves during this time. Because everything you need within you, well, sorry, everything you need in life, strength, determination, courage, you know what I'm going to say, is already within you. You're just going to have to dig deep to find it. So before I go, just a quick um, shout out to um, support and, you know, those helplines out there. You've got Childline for your younger ones, Samaritans for your older ones, Shout UK. You've also got Young Minds. And I just want you, if there's something that you've been putting off, something that you've been putting off for weeks now, do it. Take control. And I promise you that if you can just do these small steps of achievements and of triumphs, it will help you feel better. The only thing is, only you can do it. Anyway, I'm going to leave you there. You take care and I look forward to doing a video next week. Bye, guys.